Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know, this is Confident Notions, right? And I'm Laura. So around here, I do a couple of different things, mostly unboxing videos, sometimes haul videos. I did recently post a video on what I pack for various um, work trips. So I did one uh, for what I pack for just like a regular work trip. And then I did a quick one on what I pack when I go overseas because I just got back from England, um, specifically London uh, on Friday. <laughs> so yeah, um, part of what I've been doing for work is I've been coordinating three different sales kickoff events in our various locations and last week was in London. So I was in London all last week which is fantastic which is leading up to what I'm going to talk about today and then on Tuesday next week I head off to Washington State for the last for the third and final sales event. So almost done. So what I did want to show you today was what I picked up while I was in London at Primark. And I'll be completely honest with you, I've been looking forward to this part of my London trip. I was like, I'm gonna go to Primark and I'm gonna buy like a crap ton of stuff, which I did. So for those of you who don't know, Primark is a, um, I think there's a couple in like New York, um, I think like around New York City, but not that many in the US. It's mostly a UK brand. And they have just tons of clothes and houseware and, shoes and socks and men's, women's, children's, you name it, they've got it at Primark and at really good prices. So sometimes their sizing is a little bit funky, but I was gonna power through and I was gonna find me some stuff at Primark, which I did. And I had to haul it all back to my hotel room, but I got it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. It's all down here on the floor. So the first thing I picked up was these pair and actually bought two of these. These are the Shape Me tights. These are black tights with uh, like a control top toppy on them. I usually get like the Assets brand from Target. They're like the knockoff Spanx version. And a pair of those tights tend to run you about 11 to $14, just depending. And sometimes they're difficult to find. The last time I needed to get a pair, I perused all over Target and Kohl's and I had a heck of a time finding a pair. So I got two pairs of these. I already wore one when I was over there. I got these in a size large, which is appropriate. <clears throat> the thing about these, these are three pounds 50. Three pounds 50, the, so the, um, the pound sterling, <coughs> pardon me, conversion rate is about $1.25 to $1.29 per pound. So on average, just multiply another 25% onto anything that, that you see here. And that's going to tell you how much it was in US dollars. So for about five bucks, which is a, a lot cheaper than I'm going to find a pair of tights for in the US. Um, and they're always easy to find. They love their tights in the UK. They're just always wearing tights, which is great. Like I'm totally down with that. So I got two pairs of these. I also picked up this pair. This was on clearance for a pound. Glare. You see that? One pound. Dollar twenty-five for three. Count them. One, two, three pairs of tights. So these are not like the control top, like suck your fat in type kind of ones. And you see here, these say 40 and these things here say 80. So one of the cool things about the tights in the UK is they tell you like, the um, like how opaque they are so these are going to be more opaque than the 40s but that doesn't matter because they were a pound it's a dollar 25 for three pairs of tights so and i especially like that they came with a gray pair a black pair and a burgundy pair so again not control top but for a dollar 25 i'm gonna buy these tights all day long and i'll be honest like if they had another color set i would have bought those too so super excited about the tights i knew i was gonna buy those tights anyways um, let me get in and I'll show you the kids stuff that I got real quick also. So this here, can you see this? It was this shirt, which is, um, it's like a gray stripey shirt with little bunny ears on it. And I had like a hell of a time if it needs in my suitcase. Cause if you watch the, what I packed for my UK trip video, you'll see that I went with a smaller suitcase, which was a terrible idea. I should have brought the big suitcase, not the medium size suitcase. I was going to check it anyways, but difference did it make? Well, let me tell you, it was a struggle to get all the stuff that I bought back into my suitcase. So I had to take the hanger off of these. So you got this, you got this, oh, I didn't know the pink shirt had bunnies on it. So this pink little kid shirt that has a bunny on it, this one has bunnies on it. And then this one, um, it just has like hearts and love and gold hearts on it. You got all three of these for six pounds. 
So for $8, $8, 25%, 25%, Less than that. Um, math it in my head. No, that's right. For like, yeah, it was like $7.80. Eight bucks. I was right. So for that, for $7.80, I got three shirts, long sleeve shirts from Morgan. Uh, and these are the size 26, 24 to 36 months. But, and she's almost 36 months, but she's, she's short. So these are going to be just fine. And like I said, I am heading out next week. So especially this one, I've got a, I've got like three or four outfits for her for with the week of Valentine's Day. So I'm going to have to leave these out for my husband. So he doesn't put her in like some Christmas shirt. And then we like miss the Valentine shirt window. So I got all three of these for seven pounds, for six pounds. So $7.80. And then I also, the problem is like every time I, Get something like this my husband's like i don't know what to match with this it has you know it's black do i put black pants so i put blue jeans in it and so i bought these pants specifically to go with so we've got these pink pants which will definitely match with this and it'll match with this and it came with this pair of floral pants as well which will match with either the bunnies or that it'll be fine and these pants here three pounds three pounds y'all so for like four dollars i got two pairs of kid pants i can't get two pairs of kid pants for two dollars here so for th like three pounds this is crazy so look look anytime i go over there i, I pack up because they always have these tights for like little kids for three pounds so like two pack of tights for three pounds all day long so i got her those and then i also picked up this shirt which is a little big and i was a little hesitant to get her like the white but um i thought it was so cute because it said um what is it? London, exploring London with my unicorn. And it's got the London eye on there and it's got Big Ben, which is covered in scaffolding and has been for like the last year and a half. And I was super disappointed when I went down to see Big Ben and just saw a bunch of scaffolding. Anyways, so, and it's got um, one of the double-decker buses and a unicorn. Unicorn happens to be the national animal of Scotland. The more you know. So this was super cute. It was a pound 30. So like literally for under $2 a t-shirt and she'll grow into it. It'll be fine. So yeah, I got her those. Um, then for me, what else did I get? I did. I cruised around for a long time and I was looking at a bunch of different things. I took some stuff from the dressing room and tried it on. Problem that I ran into is I had on a thick sweatshirt, not this one. I had on a different one. So I had on a, like a thicker sweatshirt and my heavy jacket. Cause I thought I was going to be warm. I thought it was going to be cold. Like I thought it was going to be cold in London. It wasn't that cold. Like it was no colder in London than it is in North Carolina right now. I don't know why I thought the wind would be blowing. I thought I'd get, you know, some like London cold and I did, it didn't happen. So I was hot. I'm like walking around like, <sighs> and like trying to try stuff on in the dressing room. I'm like, fuck this. So I'm happy with what I bought, but it's, it could have been more. It might have been more. And I think too, I went my first day. So the way that it goes is, so I flew in on Sunday night. It's an overnight flight. I don't sleep on the plane. I actually did. Like there was nobody on the plane. It was super weird. So I moved over into like the, the aisle with the window and took like an empty three space. And I tried to fall asleep, but I think I slept for like two hours, which is better than normal. But the problem is, is like by the time you're tired, so like if I get on a plane at eight o'clock, by the time I'm tired at like 10, you know, or 11, which is, you know, four hours into a seven hour flight, you fall asleep for two hours, they're waking you up and they're trying to feed you like some muesli and some yogurt and you're like crap I slept for two hours and so like you land like I landed in London at 8 30 a.m their time there's a five hour time difference it's 3 a.m so anyways I went in my hotel had a space I went in, I took a nap and I got up at three and then I went around just took a walk around to see like what was nearby and my hotel happened to be pretty centrally located which was good it was really close to the venue we were having our event on Tuesday on Thursday but it was also really like, it wasn't that far away to um, like Westminster Abbey and Big Ben and like some of the other stuff. So that first night after I got up, I tooled around for a little bit and then I walked over to Primark. <coughs> so anyways, it would have been more, but I was tired at that point and like I had a big bag to carry back. I could have gotten an Uber. Anyways, now I'm rambling at this point. So the other thing I did pick up was this pack of two sports bras. And I'm going to show you because I bought two packs of two. These 
are eight pounds. Eight pounds. Do you see that? Eight pounds. I got a large in these. So this is um, in their workout attire. And I think this one is light support. But this here, so look, you get this burgundy sports bra with the cute, super cute, like, um, like meshy thing on the back. Um, and then it has the the pockets here where with like this padded thing so your nips don't show and I'll just take that out anyways and so this pack here it was eight pounds so literally for like 10 bucks you get two sports bras two two pairs of sports bras I just got some sports bras at like very similar to these ones at um Aerie at Christmas time and even with like the 50 price on our sale they were still like 18 20 bucks for one and for ten dollars for two oh uh, yeah all day long so I got the black one and the burgundy and because it was such a good deal I got another pair and of this and it's pretty much the same on the back it's that same like meshy crisscross and I bought I can't see my face now I bought the pink one and I bought the leopard print one should this be my thumbnail that'd be hysterical so funny I'm gonna get flagged girl got some titty pictures in there so anyways so I got those and um yeah I couldn't pass those up then I was excited I got I found this sweatshirt in this gorgeous mustard color which I can't apparently can't stop buying so it's not I mean it's a decent -y, sweatshirt -y material I got this also in a large super fun with this um ruffly detail on the sleeves nice length good fit here what color are they calling this they're calling this like a gold color and also this was a size large it was 10 pounds so again doubt like 12 50 for this love it fantastic now the piece de resistance the thing that i was super duper excited to find didn't think i was ever going to find something like this here i found the holy grail of denim jackets the black denim jacket long line, oversized, black denim jacket at Primark. So here, denim, vintage, long line jacket. I did size up on this one. I got, no, I guess I didn't. Um, this is a UK size 16, which is a US size 12, and it is gloriously oversized black denim long jacket, and it was 17 pounds. So again, like 23 bucks, 24 bucks. Mathing in my head again. 343, four bucks more. Yeah, 23, 24 dollars for a long line denim jacket super duper excited by that so yeah i made out at pride mark i didn't find any shoes this time the last time i was there i got this super awesome like studded um like combat boots which i love absolutely love wear the hell out of them and the seal of a lifetime which was were these like pound these tennis shoes which were like on clearance for a pound fantastic so again i probably would have ended up with more but i was hot and they didn't have any like carts. I was like hauling stuff all the way through and I had a bunch of other stuff too, so I was tired. And if I hadn't been that tired, I guarantee I would have ended up with a lot more Primark. So that was my Primark haul. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, so if you like videos like this, please go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. I would be super appreciative. So yeah, that is all for me to today. For today. So I hope you have a great, Western, great rest of your week and I will see y'all later. Bye.